with me George Dopamine. Today I want to take you inside a show by that young British artist from back in the day, Sarah Lucas. Um, the young British art scene emerged from Goldsmiths College in London in the 1980s and by the 1990s had taken the world by storm and put London at the centre of the artistic world. Sarah Lucas was right at the heart of it, collaborating with Damien Hurst, opening a shop on Bethnal Green Road called The Shop with um, Tracy Emin, um, and, and generally producing some incredibly provocative works, some of which were displayed in the iconic Sensation exhibition, um, which, which, which shocked the world. Now, I've been really interested to see the trend that has seen these young British artists, once the young radicals of the art scene, mature, shall we say, and be afforded um, full-scale big exhibitions at um, very well-established galleries, in this case, Tate Britain. We've seen Rachel, Rachel White Reed here at Cornelia Parker. We've seen Damien Hurst at other galleries as well, like the Royal Academy. Um, and so it's a really interesting um, trend. And what it does do is allow us to explore their careers and see where they stand once the hype and the great publicity and marketing of the young British art scene has faded away. This promises to bring 75 of Lucas's work together. Um, it's a retrospective of sorts, I'm led to believe, but I'm really interested to see how her work will stand out and, and hold up in these very big galleries. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the art vlog. This show is on until the 14th of January. It's £17 to get in, so come and join me as we explore um, Sarah Lucas's Happy Gas. Do be aware this exhibition contains references to sexual activity and explicit language. It also includes a reference to suicide. And in a couple of places I've adapted the titles of the um, works, although I'm sure you can work out what they actually truly were. Um, the exhibition is split into four rooms, although it's important to remember that there's also a space outside where you can see some works for free, even if you don't have tickets to the exhibition. The first space um, focuses on Lucas's work from the 1990s, where she was satirising lad culture. Um, there's a lot of humour here, a lot of quite explicit work, as you'd see. And in terms of the power of the art, it was by far my favourite room. You then transition through to this large long gallery space where a series of uh, Lucas's chair works, mostly um, produced recently in the last three or four years, march down the long gallery surrounded by pictures of Lucas. The third and fourth galleries are deliberately non-chronological and display a range of Lucas's work from across her career. We see the humour um, again coming through and in the final gallery there's a spectacular central display you can see here centred around a beaten up destroyed Jaguar from 2018. Anyway, sit back and enjoy the show as I take you through the, the outside and the four rooms. <laughs>
enjoyed that sneak peek there into Sarah Lucas show Happy Gas here at Tate Britain. I've left the gallery as you can see to have a little wander and collect my thoughts um, and I'm a bit conflicted about the exhibition as a whole to be honest. If we start with the positives I really love the first run which took us back to the young British art heyday of the 1990s and it was kind of nostalgic but also quite disturbing as you'd expect from Sarah Lucas and contained men much of her humour as well. I also really like the fact that we could trace motifs through throughout the exhibition, like the use of chairs or the use of concrete in her work um, to express mundane objects, something that other YBAs also um, were very keen on doing. So that was, that, was, that, was, that was positive, and it was a really good chance to explore a wide range of Sarah Lucas's work in one place and to see it collectively. Where I didn't think it worked was actually in the curatorial flow of the exhibition. As I say, I really enjoyed room one, but I thought the transition to room two which was this uh, vast array of her chair works, all produced very, very recently in the last three or four years, jarred for me. I also thought the big blow up, um, the big blow up uh, pictures on the walls um, didn't necessarily coalesce with the work around them and in some cases felt a little bit claustrophobic. Um, I thought the last two rooms were a bit hit and miss as well in the way that they curated. I absolutely understand that um, Sarah Lucas worked with Tate on this exhibition and the idea was not to have a chronological um, walkthrough because um, that wasn't the point. The point was to show how Sarah Lucas is working today in the context of work from the past and as you know hopefully if you watch watch an art vlog for the art vlog for a while i'm very very up for experimenting and moving away from um this sort of very rigid chronological retrospective approach but in this case for me the four big rooms kind of didn't necessarily work with all of her works uh, overall i give this a, a 6.5 out of 10 and that's not because of the art i'm very very aware that the art itself will be not free for all of you it will be for some of you and some of you will be looking at it and thinking no this isn't the type of thing i want to see um but i'm giving it for the curation of the show the flow of the show overall it's on until the 14th of January and I think that £17 is a bit steep. I'd have preferred it to be 14 or 15 actually because it's a smaller show ultimately. Yes there are these four big galleries but even if you engage in every piece of work as I did you won't spend hours in there. You don't won't need to spend hours in there. It was great to see Sarah Lucas being put up there centre stage um, with other with other YBAs. Um, uh, who have also been given this 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 opportunity anyway don't forget to subscribe to the art vlog there's lots coming up over the next few weeks as, as new shows open and there are some shows that i haven't yet explored which have been open for a while as well so do come along for the ride and most importantly in these cold dreary months get out there and explore the wonderful uk art scene